now let us discuss about a c program to simulate scan disk scheduling algorithm uh, first let us see the problem and then we will see the program so here totally we have uh, eight request are given 98 183 likewise totally eight request are given so all these request may be tracks or cylinders and initially the head starts at 53 so that is the problem so we have to solve the problem uh, now let us see the program yeah uh, so in this program we need two header files we require std lib also why because in this program we are using uh, a library function called uh, abs abs stands for uh, absolute here we are using abs function this absolute function is available in stdlib.h abs function will always gives a positive value abs of minus 20 equal to plus 20 abs of minus 5 equal to plus 5 so that's why we are using the abs function uh, parallelly we are going to see the program with the help of the problem so finally we will see the program execution so here the variables are uh, uh, rq of 100 so totally we can have totally 100 request out of 100 request so we have taken 8 request ij are nothing but loop variables so n means number of request the initial value of the total head moment is 0 next this initial is nothing but uh, read write head head position the disk arm head position so size uh, in scan scheduling algorithm uh, we have to specify the size of the disk uh, in this example assumes that uh, size of the disk is 200 so we can have 200 uh, cylinders from 0 to 199 so move so here we have to specify move also so this move specifies uh, direction of the read write head move value may be either 0 or 1 so 0 means we have to move towards the 0 that is minimum value whereas 1 means we have to move towards the that maximum value next uh, index so we have to find out the index of the head so for that we are using index next to temp for sorting so initially we are reading number of request next after that uh, we are reading the request here we have more than one request so that's why we are using uh, uh, some for loop next we have to read the initial head position uh, that initial head position next uh, disk size next uh, enter the head movement so here the head movement value may be either 0 or 1 uh, if it is 0 then we have to start the uh, uh, we have to start from the read write head and move towards the 0 whereas if it is 1 we have to start from the read write head and move towards the 1. Next, first what we have to do is we have to sort the request array. So for that we are using the bubble sort. Uh, if you don't have perfect idea on the bubble sort, just refer the description or first comment. Already I uploaded a video on the bubble sort. Just go through that video. So in the outermost we require n comparisons. So for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. In the innermost for loop, j less than n minus i minus 1. If rq of j greater than rq of j, j plus 1, then do the swapping. So temp equal to, we know how to swap two numbers using temporary variable. So temp equal to a, a equal to b, b equal to temp. So here a is nothing but rq of j, b is nothing but rq of j plus 1. Okay. Next we have to find out the index index of the head position so now let us see the problem here problem here if you observe here first we have to do the sorting so after do after doing the sorting so we will get the request array like this so 14 37 65 67 98 122 124 and 83 next we have to find out the index so for finding the index so this is the logic so for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus if initial is less than rq of i index equal to i 
and then break okay uh, now let us see the uh, with the help of an example now let us see here uh, so here what is the initial here initially the read write head is at 53 so initially the read write head is at 53 uh, if you see here um, for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus if initial is less than rq of i what is the initial value here 53 so 53 is less than rq of i what is the initial value of i 0 so 53 is less than 0 yes condition is 53 is less than what is rq of 0 after sorting 14 so 53 is less than 14 yes 53 is less than 14 condition is false so the body won't be executed next i plus plus so i will become 1 so initial initial value is 53 53 is less than rq of 1 what is rq of 1 37 53 is less than 37 condition is false next i will become 2 53 is less than 65 yes condition is true so that means we have to start from the second index we have to start from the second index so here the body is true so index equal to i break so now what is index so the value of the index now is 2 so what is the value of the index now the value of the index is 2 so now let us see the logic here now we have to start from the 2 so this 2 index we have to start so that's why here we are starting from the second index uh, if you observe here for i equal to index minus 1 i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus here we are arranging all the elements in the ascending order so if we see the problem here here the minimum here the borders are here totally 200 size of the disk is 200 so 200 means the minimum value is 0 whereas the maximum value is 199 so arrange all the in ascending order so 14 next 37 next here we are placing 53 at this location 53 at this location so after 53 we have what are the remaining elements 65 67 98 122 124 183 193 here this 0 53 and 199 these three are not the part of the request here 0 is nothing but the minimum disk 53 is nothing but our initial read write head whereas 199 is nothing but that final cylinder that maximum size of the disk so those are those three are not the part of the request array okay uh, so here we have to start from the read write head so read write head is initially at 53 if you see here in the problem the read write head is at 53 we have to start from 53 assumes that uh, the direction that is movement is zero the direction of the read write head is zero so starts from the 53 and move towards the zero and move towards the zero so uh, so we need to serve all the request towards the zero so here we have 37 so serve 53 from 53 to 37 we have to go so the total number of head movements are 37 minus 53 or we can write 53 minus 37 why because we are using the absolute function abs function always gives a positive value next we have to move from 37 to 14 so 37 minus 14 so that is nothing but 14 minus 37 so first let us see the logic for these two movements for i equal to index minus 1 in previously we have find the index value what is the index value index value is 2 so 2 is greater than or equal to 0 yes condition is true so the initial value of the total head movement is 0 0 plus abs of what is i value index minus 1 what is index index is 2 so 2 minus 1 means 1 so what is 1 1 means 37 so 37 minus what is the initial previously initial is at 53 so 37 minus 53 so that should be added to 0 so that is our first head moment so we are computing 37 minus 53 next initial equal to rq of i rq of i so in this iteration what is i value 2 minus 1 i value is 1 so next 1 is greater than or equal to 0 yes condition is true 1 is greater than or equal to 0 yeah previously what is initial 
so pre, uh, initially initially is at 53 but in the first iteration uh, uh, we have to change the initial value initially equal to rq of i what is i value now 1 so what is rq of 1 37 so initially in uh, that initially read write head is at 53 and after that we have to change to 37 so now initial means 37 next i plus plus i will become so previously what is i value 1 so now i will become 0 so 0 is greater than or equal to 0 yes condition is true what is rq of 0 rq of 0 means 14 so 14 minus what is initial 37 so 14 minus 37 will be computed so that is here next initial equal to rq of i so what is i value 0 so now initial will be at 14 next i minus minus i will become previously i value is 0 so now i will become minus 1 so my why because here we are doing the decrementation so minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 condition is false so the control comes out from the for loop so till now we have computed the first two head movements so first two, two head movements are over from 53 to 37 from 37 to 14 are over so that's why we are starting the for loop from i is equal to index minus 1 and then we have to continue up to great i greater than or equal to 0 and we need to decrement i value next whenever the condition is false i value is becoming minus 1 so now we have to compute from 14 to 0 so for that this is the statement total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of rq of i plus 1 what is the previous value in i minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 means 0 so rq of 0 minus 0 what is rq of 0 if you observe here what is rq of 0 14 what is rq of 0 14 14 minus 0 so that means we are calculating from this 14 to 0 here this 0 is not the part of the request array so that's why we are using this statement 0 199 and 53 are not the part of the request array the request array contains only eight elements these eight elements the request array contains only these eight elements okay so here this is also calculated 14 to 0 is also calculated so that, that is nothing but 14 minus 0 14 minus 0 okay uh, next next after reaching the 0 we have to change the read write head direction so now from 0 to we have to serve the remaining request after 53 onwards from 53 to 0 or over so now we have to serve from 53 to the remaining request if you see here the 65 index is 2 already index contains 2 only so that's why we have to start i value from index why because what is the index location index location is 2 only now we have to serve from this 65 to remaining request so that's why here we are making we are placing 0 in initial why because we have to calculate the distance from 0 to the 65 so the value of the initial is 0 now for i equal to index i less than n i plus plus so now what is i value 2 next total head movement equal to total head movement plus the total head movement means the sum value the first uh, movements the first three movements sum value plus abs of rq of i now what is i value i value is 2 what is rq of 2 65 65 minus what is the initial value what is the initial value 0 so now from 65 to 0 from 65 to 0 the distance is calculated 65 to 0 if you observe here 65 to 0 so likewise one by one the remaining head movements will be calculated initial equal to rq of i now what is initial value rq of 2 what is rq of 2 65 now initial value is 65 next i plus plus i will become 3 so abs of rq of 3 what is rq of 3 67 what is initial 65 so next to 67 to 65 will be computed so likewise all the request will be computed one by one next from uh, if you observe here from 67 to 98 next from 98 to 122 so still if you have any doubts on this problem already theory video is uploaded on the scan i will share that video link in the description just still if you have any doubts on the scan just refer that video okay next from next from 120 to 124 next from 124 to 183 so this logic is for 
if the moment is 0 suppose if the moment is 1 then what we have to do we have to start from this index and continue up to the maximum 199 so whenever we, we whenever we reaches that 199 we have to reverse the direction of the read right head and serve the remaining request we will see that logic if moment is uh, 1 we will see that logic in the next algorithm that is c scan algorithm i will share that video link in the description so refer that uh, video link also now let us see the program here so uh, index is calculated and after that if move if moment equal to 1 then we have to start from the index and uh, can and uh, and continue up to the last last disk okay so that is calculated for computing the last dis distance we have used this formula next uh, from uh, uh, index minus 1 to 0 we have to compute so for that we we use this for loop if you have any doubts please refer my next algorithm that is c scan in c scan we will discuss the program based upon the moment as one only one only next else that means if moment is zero so we have to start the index from minus one already we have seen this logic only okay next for calculating from uh, uh, moment of for the minimum size that is from zero to last request next we have to place initially at zero and compute the total head moments from index to last okay and after that we are computing the total head moments now let us see the program uh, uh, execution let us see the program execution i will share the uh, corresponding this uh, program link in the description uh, i will share this uh, program in the first comment so please refer the first comment for the program so this is uh, this is our program this is our program i will share this program in the first comment so refer the program and uh, and execute it yeah this is our program and then uh, execute the program so if you see here let us run the program one more time let us run the program one more time yeah already it is executed let us see the output enter the number of the request eight request uh, next enter the request sequence this is a galvin example so 98 183 37 122 14 124 65 67 enter the initial head position that is 53 enter the total disk size 200 next head movement head movement value may be either 0 or 1 in this program uh, just we have seen the example based upon 0 in the next one that is in c scan we will discuss uh, based on uh, uh, that uh, moment as uh, 1 total head movement is what is the output 236 is the output so this is about uh, scan uh, disk scheduling algorithm in the next video we will see about uh, c scan disk scheduling uh, algorithm